Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is MinuteMath. Today, we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials, and we're going to simplify each expression. So if I was given this polynomial, 8n minus 3n to the 4th plus 10n squared, parentheses, minus parentheses, 3n squared plus 11n to the 4th minus 7. Okay? So, what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to make this, uh, this parenthesis here, uh, that subtraction, adding a negative. And now we can't, there's nothing to simplify over there, so I can rewrite it without the parentheses, 8n plus a negative 3n to the 4th plus 10n squared. And if you watch my videos, I prefer adding a negative, okay? So now I'm going to distribute this subtraction sign across, and in doing so, I'm going to make everything to be added a negative. So, excuse me, so subtracting 3n is adding a negative 3n squared. Then distribute the minus sign over here. We have plus a negative 11n to the fourth. And do it again over there. Uh, two negatives makes a plus a positive 7. So now my next step is I'm going to rearrange, using the commutative property, all my highest degrees first. <clears throat> so I have negative 3n to the fourth. Fourth degree is the highest ones I see here. Put a dot there to mark that I've brought that down. Uh, negative 11n to the fourth here. So I have plus a negative 11n to the fourth. Put a little dot right there so that I brought that down. Now, the next highest degree is the second power, so I'm um, going to add a 10 n squared, dot right there, and plus a negative 3 n squared here, put a dot right there. Then, uh, the next highest degree is just the 8 n, so we have plus an 8 n here, boom, and then plus a 7 at the end. There we go. Let's double check we had everything down. We should by using the dot system, but 8 n's right there, negative 3 n to the fourth right there, 10 n squared right there, negative 3 n squared right there, negative 11 n to the fourth, fantastic. And 7, and we just double check highest degrees first, fourth power, fourth power, second power, second power, first power, constant, okay, or the zeroth power, or things like that, okay. So now let's go combine our like terms, I simplify that, negative 3 n to the fourth plus a negative 11 n to the fourth is a negative 14 to the fourth, 14, no, n to the fourth, not 14 to the fourth, 14 n to the fourth. Then uh, my second powers here, 10 n squared plus a 3, uh, negative 3 n squared is a 7 n squared, so we have plus a 7 n squared here, and then we have a plus 8n, and then plus a 7, and there we have it. We have our final answer here, nice and neat, simplified, negative 14n to the fourth plus 7n squared plus 8n plus 7. So let's recap. We're given 8n minus 3n to the fourth plus 10n squared minus parentheses 3n squared plus 11n to the fourth minus 7. I distributed the subtraction sign across, making everything plus a negative, and made that plus a negative as well. I like to see everything as plus and negative. Now I rearrange using the commutative property, highest degrees first. I use a dot system and I double checked my work to make sure I got everything down. Okay, should have the same number of terms and the same all the terms come down. So negative 3n to the fourth plus negative 11n to the fourth plus 10n squared plus negative 3n squared plus 8n plus 7. Then from there I simplify uh, negative 3n to the fourth plus negative 11n to the fourth give me a negative 14n to the fourth. 10n squared plus negative 3n squared was then 7n squared. 8n came down, 7 was right there, and now we have our final answer here, nice and neat looking, uh, negative 14n to the 4th plus 7n squared plus 8n plus a 7. 